What happened on 23rd Street, New York City? A street-level view from the sidewalk, looking along the length of 23rd Street. Following actuality footage of pedestrians and street traffic, the actors, a man in summer attire and a woman in an ankle-length dress, walk toward the camera. As they cross a grate on the sidewalk they pause, and the escaping Wait, blows the woman's I don't dress see to her the knees. Actors. Just hold your horses one minute. Now, as I was saying, and the escaping uh, blows the woman's dress to her knees. One thing that you must understand, that, given female clothing restrictions of that day, this was a rather risque film. Perhaps it might even compare to our R-rated films today. So, this long build-up to the featured gag, as we might say, was simply designed to build anticipation of the ankle revelation. I see them. Of course you do. I remember a film, One Summer of Happiness in the 50s. Bridget Bardo and some lad were in this god-awful movie with subtitles. The flick drug on for seemingly hours before the couple found a reason to disrobe and go swimming in a pond. At that point everyone in the audience leaned forward, saw what they could discern, and then got up and left. I suspect the theater was vacant by the time the credits ran. Lord knows how much popcorn and soda was consumed waiting for that brief Bond incident. I doubt that we really saw anything. But here, the viewers got full measure for their penis, as you see in the replay. And I am sure that Edison had not thought up popcorn and soda yet. Wow, that Tommy Edison was a real scoundrel. You betcha.